Hey everyone, what is the crack? Uh, I'm going to talk about MGUK today and I'm in the Porsche uh, 919 to 2015 model. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick tour before I get started. This is my cars button. Cars button deploys the electric energy. This is my little uh, dial on the steering wheel to cycle through the different modes. So I'm in charging mode at the moment. You can see that at the bottom. Uh, I've got the Assetto Corsa Gears app. Uh, I recommend that one. Uh, it'll show you how much turbo you're using, how much cars is being deployed, uh, how much you have left for the lap, which is the yellow one and green one how much the car actually has left so the yellow one resets at the end of every lap uh, the reason for that is some of the longer tracks um, you, if you constantly had the energy rebuilding uh, it, it kind of defeats the purpose of having a limited amount of uh, of extra electric uh, power so on it like de la Sarthe, which is a, a three minute lap or a two and a half minute lap in these cars you don't want to constantly have that rebuilding rebuilding and you can constantly use it having the limit per lap encourages more tactile use of it i'm on a short track here so it won't have any effect and you'll see that but that's what those bars kind of mean i've got sidekick open here because a lot of people run that uh, these colors loosely translate to what happens in the assetto corsa gears app um, my mode here again i'm in charging mode right now uh, which Charging mode does uh, pretty much absolutely nothing. Uh, you can uh, it'll it'll charge your battery obviously when you uh, uh, when you brake. Uh, and just so that you know, none of these modes affect the rate of recharge. So the rate of recharge is always 100%. When you brake, uh, it just recharges. So I'm going to manually deploy here, and you're going to be able to see that when I hit the brakes, it's actually going to regenerate. So when I hit manual deploy. That's at 100%. Look at the blue bar beside the 5. It's at 100% and the green bar has depleted a little bit. And I've overshot the track completely. Doesn't matter for the purposes of this demo. Um, so the green bar goes down. As I braked, you probably saw it regenerate a little bit. And as you drive, it regenerates slowly anyway. Um, and when you go, this is the end of the lap, yellow bar fills up again. So that's charging mode, kind of covered in a nutshell. Next, I'm going to go into low preserve. So low preserve low aggressive the low means the exact same thing it basically means it does most of its work in the lower speeds or the lower revs uh, so w as when you get up into fourth fifth gear it pretty much it starts interfering less the theory is that at that stage of your lap um uh, or at that stage of your of your revs the amount of energy that it delivers makes a very small difference to your overall top speed and stuff like that um, so it's not worth spending the energy there. It's it's mainly for getting out of corners and stuff. So preserve, seeing as the the current system deploys most of its uh, uh, power, uh, most of its energy through the front tires, uh, preserve is kind of not very aggressive. It knows how it, it basically takes into account the G's through a corner and stuff like that. Uh, and you can see the blue bar how it's filling up on low preserve. Uh, it it gets quite aggressive, but only when you have lots of grip. As I'm going through these S curves. Not much is happening. Low aggressive, however, when I, when I change to low aggressive, you'll see as I'm coming out here, even though I'm through, going through a corner, it's still trying to deploy it. It's still not at 100%, uh, and I can just hit uh, hit the, the button to go to 100%. I highly recommend low aggressive. Uh, if you find low aggressive wearing your tires too much, low preserve, is there's very little difference. Unless you're an absolute pro in these cars, very little difference. Um, when you're kind of hot lapping or maybe uh, battling, high preserve might be slightly better uh, because what that does, and you'll see as I go up through the gears, my curves is still kicking in even in sixth and even in seventh, I think, uh, below a certain speed, it still keeps kicking in uh, and even at 100%. Um, on all of these modes, you can always do 100% manual uh, curves as well. And that will just do a full deploy of your curves and that depletes very, very quickly. Um, that's kind of high preserve. I'll switch to high aggressive here. And high aggressive is really your kind of uh, almost your, your highest mode. It's not quite as aggressive as hot lap. But you can see that blue bar is pretty full. Um, and as you go, especially going out of corners, it's very aggressive on your front front tires. Um, and it's almost always kicked in but for if if you were to do like this is only like a 45 second lap or something uh, if you were to be doing a small track with these uh, something like high aggressive would really really work on a longer track you're going to run out of curves so quickly uh, and the final setting is hot lap uh, hot lap is an even more 
kind of aggressive setting. It's basically like it's a type of thing where you would be on charging mode and you would be fully charged. And then as you go over the line, you would switch into hot lap mode. That basically tries to use the battery um, or as much as the battery as possible. So it doesn't it doesn't spare it in any way. So it's super aggressive. You can see that green bar depleting quite quickly. Now this is the, uh, the 2016 Porsche. So this one actually has uh, a huge battery compared to like the 2015. So it has far more cars available. Uh, so on a small track like this, um, you don't really notice that it's using uh, lots and lots, but it is compared to the other modes. It uses quite a lot. I suck at that corner, um, and that's about it. That's kind of the MGUK system uh, explained in a nutshell. Uh, if you want to know the shortcuts, you can do uh, Control Two on your keyboard. Uh, does the cycle. Uh, if you don't have mappable buttons on your uh, on your steering wheel, or if you want to like save your uh, like if you have a G25 or something like that you only have two buttons uh, you can just do control and two and that will allow you to cycle through the different modes um, other than that uh, no real hotkeys I do highly recommend uh, as our uh, assistant is demoing in the picture in picture right now I highly recommend uh, um, setting them up on your steering wheel if you do have even if you don't like when I had my G27 I just had buttons for next and previous uh, and I set them up in contact ma content manager and uh, that's about it. You don't have to worry about, uh, like there's MGUH, this car doesn't have it, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. And there's uh, MGUK recovery, what it says here, five, you can actually change that number anyway. Uh, if at any stage you do want to change any of these settings, you want to save them with your setup, uh, you can go back to pits. When you go into your setup in electronics, it shows you your delivery so if you save it as high aggressive you're going to start off at high, as high aggra aggressive some people might want to start off on aggressive for the start of the race try and make up positions and then change it as they go along i highly recommend if you're not used to this system low aggressive is more than good enough and uh, top it up with that uh, red button every time somebody tries to or your, your curse button that you've mapped every time someone tries to pass you out just give it a little blast of that. Uh, try and get consistent in these cars before you try and be a whiz with this uh, MGUK stuff uh, and and try and have it interfere with you as little as possible. And uh, that's about it. I hope that this uh, helped you guys. Um, this video is done by request because a lot of people um, have asked me uh, to, to, to do this in my league. We've got a league coming up with these. So hopefully this will help some other people because there's not a lot of info uh, out there on a set of course on how it uses MGUK. Lots of theory out there on how it should work and first gear 20%, second gear 40% and it's just all very, very confusing. Hopefully this clears that all up. Uh, if you like what you saw, if this helps you in any way, please hit the little like button uh, and uh, if you want to see more content like this and all the other stuff that I do, uh, please hit subscribe and uh, if, you, uh, if you want to be notified every time a video like this comes out, hit the little bell. That's about it for me. Chat to you later.